Harvey first got into sailing after I read the boys um, Swallows and Amazons as a bedtime story and being adventurous boys they decided that they would really really like to have a, a go and it just coincided with a, an open day here at Ogston so we all came down as a family thinking this is a great family sport to try and they were on the water and we never got them off until the end of the day and that, that was the start of it all. The Derbyshire Institute of Sport has been great support this year. Harvey needed to increase his fitness levels in order to be able to compete at the level he wanted to. Um, so with the help of their strength and conditioning coaches, he's really been able to focus on dealing with his weaknesses. In this country, we've had a lot of good young sailors and I, I think uh, Harvey has a great chance of following in some great footsteps by getting to the top. And that, of course, is sailing for the country in the Olympics. I sail in RS Viva, which is a double-handed class, which there's a helm and a crew, and I helm that, so I do all the steering. We won the national, European and world titles. We went out to the Czech Republic, where we won the RS Viva Crown Cup, which was a great achievement for both of us. And we also won the Grand Prix circuit, which is a series of events through the year at different venues. The thing I love about sailing is the rush I get when I sail and the tactical element of it, it's just all when it comes together and you get that buzz of winning. From an early age it's been my goal to win Olympic gold and I aim to do this in the next 10 to 15 years. I started playing golf when I was five. Um, well no one plays golf in my family so it was a bit bizarre I suppose but played a lot more um, national and men's golf this year uh, just trying to take it to that next level. We played first big national event in March and then won the Dolph Scores event. Went to Norway, played the European boys for England. Um, we played the McAvoy again, which won last year. I played in the Caris, which was the English Open for under 18s. And then hopefully looking forward to representing Great Britain and Ireland again in, in Sweden for the Jack LeGlees Trophy, which is Great Britain and Ireland v Europe. What is it that makes Bradley stand out? Despite his achievements, which are immense, he remains truly modest about it. There's a time where Bradley was achieving at a very high level and his school didn't even know he played golf. I was proud of finishing second in the Peter McAvoy, being going there as the defending champion and the best Great Britain and Ireland players go to that event. The goal for the future is to get the Walker Cup next year. Hopefully, and then after that, maybe turn professional or we'll see what happens from there.